out in Sydney, back into Australia, you know, they had uh, basically helped create the bionic eye. Uh, but uh, the doctor that's in this story, he's a religious nut. And you can find religious nuts anywhere. The This particular one has, was a member of a conservative Christian sect and has been banned from practicing medicine after he prescribed a teenager a chemical castration drug he used as a gay tool or gay cure. Really? A gay cure? I, I couldn't believe this. It was back in 2008, apparently. He prescribed the 18-year-old an anti-androgen -and therapy, uh, psych Cypertrone acetate, sold under the brand name of Psycho, uh, uh, Psycho, <laughs> Cyro Spats, or Stat, uh, in a, in a 10 minute consultation in his home. 10 minutes consultation. I spend more time at the doctor when I, when I've go to the doctor more than 10 minutes. I mean, really, I know the time, a doctor's time is precious and they, you, you can only see so many people, but 10 minutes? Really? 10 minutes. It takes more than 10 minutes. A lot more than 10 minutes. Now, in a, before the hearing, uh, the Professional Standards Committee uh, of the South Wales, Mr. Caddock admitted that he did not obtain the medical history of this, this poor guy, failed to conduct a physical examination, and also did not take in an inadequate sexual history or to arrange a follow-up for an appointment for the patient. Really? See, the, the religious nuts out there are so hell-bent on getting rid of gay people that they, uh, they, they don't, they, they're just throwing drugs at people saying, yeah, this will cure your gay. Joe, your thoughts. You said, uh, you know, he didn't meet all these requirements for, uh, as a doctor, like he didn't have a follow-up appointment, he didn't have a prior medical history. Right. This drug was meant for people who suffered from prostate cancer. Right. And this kid, he's 18 years old, did not have prostate cancer. He was giving it to him to, to make him limp. He was giving it to him so that his dick would no longer work as a cure for being gay. Yeah. Now, there Some is cure. no such thing as a gay cure because gay is not a disease. Right. The religious nuts, they think it is. It, exactly. Exactly. They think it's like, oh, it's a choice. Oh, you, you need to be cured of it. No. This doctor is a member of an unnamed conservative Christian sect. And uh, so this is another example of religious beliefs being used to justify harm on another person. Yes. And this is definite harm. He's denying this guy who he is and his sexuality and his sexual life. He's giving him pills and he's like, here, take these. And you know what? You're not going to be gay anymore. <laughs> and you're going to be more only going to go to heaven. Right. No, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's Absolutely complete bullshit. It's bullshit. So, uh, I mean, this is the same as... Uh, I would I, put this in the same category as stoning somebody for infidelity or denying a child uh, medical care for religious beliefs. You're, yep. you're using a belief to harm another person, and that's just wrong. Yes. It's just wrong. Exactly. It is wrong. Um, I was, we would go to Medusa, but we've had some technical issues tonight, and I've been kicked offline about several thousand times tonight. So we've kind of lost Medusa for the rest of this evening, so it's just going to be Joe and I for the rest of the night. So... Yeah, this is this is uh, terrible. This should not. They shouldn't be. Th this guy. I'm glad that they take him out. And, and to, not to mention, uh, and this is another lady. Just to give another example. Uh, in May of this year, a Christian uh, psychotherapist in England lost her license, uh, her appeal against the ruling of the British Association for Counseling and Psychotherapy back in 2009 in an undercover investigation that she she was found trying to provide gay conversion therapy through counseling. There is nothing wrong with being gay, folks. I'm not gay. Joe, you're not gay either, I'm assuming. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. I, I've, I've known gay people. I lived next to them when I lived in Madison. They were <laughs> nice people. I have, I've never had issue with gay people. You know, you, you assume that I'm straight. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, Joe, why didn't you say so? Uh, just no, I'm... Just I, 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 <laughs> Well, you we know. We get hooked no, up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, gay rights is a human rights issue. Yes, and it I, is. I'm a secular humanist, and I believe in equal rights for everybody. And regardless of your uh, gender or race or orientation or background or, 
you know anything any of those things you know it, it, it doesn't matter we're all individuals and we all have the same rights so mm-hmm. that's you know it, it's just craziness yes absolutely absolutely and it they should everybody has human rights and this is a human right it's not just a gay right it's not a straight right it's a human right exactly exactly